California is in the fourth year of an unprecedented drought. The facts tell a compelling story. 2013 was the driest year on record in California. 2014 was the hottest year on record in California. 2015 could be worse, with the lowest snowpack ever recorded in California. The historic dry conditions prompted Governor Jerry Brown to issue statewide mandatory urban water restrictions, the first time that has ever happened. It's for that reason that I'm issuing an executive order mandating substantial water reduction across our state. That is why, despite significant drought planning in Southern California for more than a generation, we are experiencing the full impact of this unprecedented drought. In response, Metropolitan's Board of Directors in April voted to restrict wholesale water deliveries by 15% to its 26-member public agencies. This is only the fourth time in the district's history that delivery restrictions have been put in place. The supply allocation plan will help stretch Metropolitan's stored reserves, which have been reduced by more than half since the height of record reserves just a few years ago. It will prompt mandatory conservation across the Southland. Stiff surcharges for agencies that use more water than their allotment will serve as a strong financial incentive for saving water. In response to overwhelming public interest, Metropolitan's Board of Directors in mid-2015 approved the largest turf removal and water conservation program in the nation. We're not aware of anywhere in the world where they've done something this large. You're going to see a significant transformation uh, as part of this action, as part of this drought response, uh, that will be something we'll see throughout Southern California uh, for decades to come. The expanded program's $450 million budget, when supplemented with another $50 million from local water agencies, bring the total regional conservation investment to half a billion dollars. I think it's in line with uh, the history of Metropolitan. Uh, we do big things and it's paid off over the years. The half billion that you've appropriated uh, for uh, dealing with the drought for conservation uh, here in Southern California, uh, that's really to be commended. Uh, very important, and I hope that people in other parts of the state uh, pick that up as an example. The ensuing water savings from the turf removal and water conservation program will equal more than 70 million gallons a day. Over a decade, that's enough water to fill Southern California's largest reservoir, Diamond Valley Lake in Riverside County. There is a role for everyone to play in reducing water use. If all of us do a little bit more to conserve water around our homes, in our businesses, and in our communities, it will add up to a lot of savings. As cliche as it sounds, every drop really does count. When you look at how much water is used for things we take for granted, you'll see why. Most water use takes place outside. Here are some things you can do. Check your sprinklers for leaks. Water your landscaping in the morning or in the evening when it's cooler. Better yet, change your thirsty lawn into a yard with drought tolerant plants that use a lot less water. And use a broom instead of a hose to clean driveways and sidewalks. Turn your attention indoors and you'll find more ways to save too. Wash only full loads of dishes and laundry. Take shorter showers. And make the switch to high efficiency toilets. They can save the average family up to 40,000 gallons every year. There is help. Metropolitan offers several conservation incentives. You can find information about these money-saving programs as well as other great water-saving tips at BeWaterWise.com. While saving water and stretching available supplies during the drought is important, 
Metropolitan is leading the way in shaping a more sustainable water future for Southern California and making water conservation a permanent way of life. Metropolitan has helped the region prepare for drought and growing water needs by investing billions of dollars in conservation programs, expanding local water storage, recycling, groundwater recovery and replenishment, and supporting development of new water technologies. These investments have helped Southern California weather this drought. But now, with the region's reserves at less than half of their capacity, we have to take it to the next level. And we'll have to work together. We need water for today, the next dry year, and generations to come. Saving today means water tomorrow.